Hi, filtering in Tableau is extremely powerful, but filters are one of the most common causes of bad performance in Tableau. In this video, I'm going to cover my 11 filter tips that's going to help you to improve the performance of your dashboards. And we start right now. Welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Barra Zalkini and I am IT Architect. Once you start filtering in Tableau, you have to answer many questions. For example, which type of filter should I use? Data source, extracts, context, quick filters, action. Which one has the best performance? Should I use include or exclude in filters? Continuous dates or discrete? Only relevant data or all data? There are many questions that you need to answer and in this video I'm going to help you to choose the right one so you can get the best performance in Tableau. In Tableau we have many different types of filters. Understanding them and using the right filter in the right place is the key to gain some performance in Tableau. In this picture I'm going to show you how do I rank them and why. So we have here your data, Tableau data source and Tableau dashboard. The first filter and the best one is to use the filter between your data and Tableau data source. This one called extract filter. So with extract filter, you're gonna get great performance because you are reducing the size of data that's entering Tableau. With that, you're gonna get good performance. The next one, we have a filter between Tableau data source and Tableau dashboard. This one called data source filter. It's as well great because you are reducing the size of data that's entering your dashboard. Then we have some filters inside the dashboards. The best one is called context filter. It's the master one on top of all other filters and data inside your dashboard. Then we have the action filter. It's the interactive one as well as good one. And the last and the worst type of filters called quick filters. So my recommendation is that if you are creating new filter, think of those ranking and start thinking first. Should I use it as extract filter if I'm using data source extract or then data source filter or you want to use it inside your dashboard then think first about the context filter, action filter and the last option should be the quick filter. Let's say we have slow dashboards and we want to improve the performance of that. One thing that I'm really going to check is how many quick filters do we have. In this example we have three charts. And on the right side, we have seven quick filters. Those quick filters could be the reason why do we have slow performance. And that's because Tableau is going to spend some time preparing those quick filters. For example, if I click on the country, I find here a list of all the countries that I have in the database. And that's because Tableau went to the database or to the extracts and prepared this list. If you start this dashboard, Tableau is going to do the following. Because we have three charts, Tableau is going to generate three queries on the extract or database. And that's normal in order to get the data for your dashboards. But because we have seven quick filters, Tableau is going to generate as well seven queries on the extract or database in order to get the value inside those filters. So here you need to be careful with those quick filters because already we have sent queries for such a dashboards. And imagine if you have hundreds of users using these dashboards, there will be a lot of queries between your data sets and your dashboards. So be careful with that. Quick filters could generate a lot of queries. And here, if you check the performance recording, you will see how many queries are generated with those quick filters. Next, we're going to talk about the cardinality in filters. This could affect as well the performance in Tableau. Usually we have two types of cardinality, high and low. So what is cardinality? Cardinality is the number of unique values inside one column or one filter. In our example, I'm going to show you two filters, category and customer number. So let's check now the values inside the category. Here we have around 12 unique values. This is considered to be low cardinality. If we check now the values inside the customer number, we have a long list of values. And that's because each customer has a unique ID and there is no duplicates between them. So such a column or such a filters considered to be high cardinality. So the recommendation is here, avoid using those columns in filters because it's going to take longer time to be prepared compared to low cardinality like the category. Let's go inside the quick filters and here we have two options. 
only relevant values and all values in database. You need to be careful here because if you are selecting the wrong one, it could generate a lot of queries and drop the performance of your dashboard. The recommendation is here that to go and stick always with all values in database. And that's because if you select it for the filter, Tableau can generate maximum one query to prepare the values inside this filter and it will not touch it again. So if you do any interaction with any other filter or your dashboard, Tableau will not generate any query for this filter because it's gonna do it only once. But if you select only relevant values here, each time you select any other values, for example, here in the product, I select something else, Tableau gonna go and generate one more query so that it's gonna show you only the relevant values inside the category. So your interaction here will cost you always performance and will generate a lot of queries. Here I'm gonna show you how Tableau reacts with those options. So first we have all values in database. I changed the value in one filter and Tableau here generated three queries. That's okay because I have three charts, that's normal. Then I went and changed all the quick filters to only relevant values and change the value in one filter, Tableau here generate 10 queries. And that's because we have three charts and seven quick filters to be updated. As you see here, the interactions and filters gonna generate a lot of queries compared to all values in database and that's cost performance. So the recommendation here to be safe, always stick with the all values in database and avoid using only relevant values because it could generate a lot of sub queries. Next, I'm gonna show you one small thing that could improve the performance of your dashboard. So let's go inside the quick filter, then customize. Then we have here one option called show apply button. As a default, Tableau will not select it for your filters. So normally Tableau gonna show you all the values inside the filter. Let's say I'm gonna select TV and smartphone inside the category. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna deselect everything, then select those two options. So let's see how Tableau gonna react deselect everything and here you see Tableau removed all the data from my charts. Let's select smartphone. Tableau is querying now the data set to show me the values. Again, select TV. Tableau gonna query again the data in order to show me the data for those two values. And as you see, we have already here six queries. And if we have the relevant values, we have around 60 queries. So instead of that, instead of all those queries, what we're gonna do, we're gonna apply this option here, show apply button. So what's gonna happen inside the filter, we will have here one option to say apply. So let's do that again. I'm gonna deselect everything. You see here Tableau is not reacting yet. Then select smartphone, TV. As you see, nothing happened until I click apply. So once I do that, Tableau gonna go and query the data. So here we have fewer queries generated. Now I'm gonna show you what Tableau did in the background. At the start, I didn't use apply button. That means each time I click something in the filter, Tableau gonna react immediately and query the data. So as a result, we have a lot of queries with this option here. Now, after I used apply button, Tableau waited until I'm done selecting what I need. And at the end, he queried the data. So here we have three queries because we have three charts. So I can recommend here always use apply button because it can reduce the generated query as the default one. All right, guys, in Tableau filters, we can choose between include and exclude values. So let's go again to our filter. And here we can choose between those two options, include values and exclude values. Let's see how Tableau gonna react with that. So I'm gonna stay with the include values. It's the default stuff. So I'm gonna choose between smartphone and TV. So it's gonna query data and give me the data. So let's now change it to exclude values. So here I'm gonna exclude everything, but not smartphone and TV. And you see here Tableau is reacting the same. So here I cannot compare how many queries are generated between those two options, but I'm gonna check the statements that are generated. So now as I was using the include option, Tableau generated a very simple query. So we have the following statements, where category in smartphone TV. So that's it, it's relative simple. But if we compare that with the excludes, 
Tableau generated relative complicated query. So if we have in the statement where, and then inside it, we have subquery using the case when logic and or operators. So as you see with the exclude, we're going to get more complicated queries. That's going to cost us more performance. So if you compare both of them, I'm going to recommend you here to go always with include when it's possible and try to avoid using exclude. All right. If you're going to use column date as a filter, you have to choose between two options here. You have continuous dates and discrete dates. So in this example, I have both of them. So I have the order date as continuous. It's going to be as green. So if you click on it, you see I selected continuous and I have the same column as discrete as well. Discrete is going to be blue. So if you select on it, you see it's discrete and I use them both in my dashboard as a filter. So with the continuous date, you have range. That's mean you're going to select the begin and the end of your range. So this is for the continuous as a discrete it's going to be as any normal filter you have a list of values and you need to select between them so now the question which one has better performance let's check now the generated statements from tableau with the continuous dates i use the range between two values so we can see it here again in the where condition order dates between this value and this value so it's using the range with the discrete date, we have different types of statements. I selected five different values from the dropdown. So we can see it here in the word conditions, order date in those five values. I did some database researches and it says databases and extra can respond much faster if you are using range instead of in statement. So here the recommendation is that you always stay with the continuous date because you're going to get better performance from the query instead of using the discrete dates. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about now the different types of quick filters. So let's say that you're going to still work with the customer number as a filter. As I said, it has high cardinality and it might deliver bad performance. So now the question is, which type of quick filter is the fastest? So we have here list, drop down, slider, and so on. So here we have like most of them going to deliver the same performance because Tableau going to execute query in the database or extract in order to get a list of values. But there's two types here where Tableau does not do that. And that is multiple values, custom list and wildcard match. So let's say I'm going to select this one here. We see here in the filter Tableau will not deliver any list. That means Tableau is not executing any query in the back end which is good because we're going to get fast response from the dashboard. So now here, as I start entering my value, Tableau going to search for that. And here he found like two IDs. I'm going to select them and that's it. So with those types of filters, the multiple values and the wildcard match, you're going to get better performance because Tableau is not doing any rendering or executing any query in the back end. Okay, guys, I have for you a small tip, and that's about the data types of filters. So here my recommendation is that try to use integers, numbers, boolean in the filters instead of strings and dates, because generally speaking, databases or computers works much better and much faster if you are using boolean or integer instead of data and strings. So here's my recommendations. I know sometimes it's hard to use that. Some people want to see some text in the filter, but if it's possible, go with the integer boolean instead of data and string. Okay, guys, next we're going to talk about my favorite filter. It is the action filters. They are great. I love them. So now we have the mission to get rid of those bad quick filters from the right side here. What I usually do, I search in my charts. So for example, we have here the top products charts. We have a list of all products. By the way, they are all fake information here. And for me, I see here some duplicates because I have here the products names and as well in the quick filter, I have as well a list of all those products. So what we can do, we can select this chart as a filter. So I'm going to select on it and then click on filter here. It's the action filter. Now let's go and select one of those values. For example, Amazon Echo, if I click on it, you will see here that other charts are reacting to my click as a filter. So that means this chart over here is a chart and as well as action filter. 
So that means I can go and remove this product quick filter from here. With that, I already want some performance in my Tableau because Tableau will not prepare this filter for me anymore. I'm gonna use the chart as a filter. So this is my method to reduce those bad quick filters on the right side. We can go on and check, for example, the category. We have as well the category here in a chart. So we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna go to this chart, select it as action filter, and remove this category. And you see here, I have only few uh, quick filter left so we can click for example here on the smartphone and you see my other charts are reacting for that this is action filters and they are great i recommend using them they are interactive they are really nice okay guys to improve the performance of tableau we can use context filters in the following scenario let's say that in all the sheets that we have in tableau i'm using always the same filters here so for example i'm using always as a country germany so if I'm repeating that on all different sheets, that means this is a candidate for context filter. So I can promote this filter to higher level with clicking over here and saying add to context. So this filter will be on top of all other filters and it's going to filter everything here. It's going to filter the data, it's going to filter the filters as well. So it's the higher rank of those filters and they are great with the performance. Tableau always recommend to use context filter. So always search for such candidate and promote it to context filter in order to gain better performance. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If this video helped you to improve the performance of your dashboards, give this video a like. As always, if you want to learn more about Tableau or working with data, click on subscribe so you don't miss any content. If you have any questions or you want me to cover any other topics, use the comment section below. Don't forget to check my other YouTube videos about tips and tricks to optimize Tableau performance. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. See ya.